know this may sound like science fiction or just really, really out there, but just stick with me for a moment. I want to share with you something. There is a far greater cloaking technology inside you than any advanced civilization in the Milky Way galaxy and the entire universe that does not have honorable intentions. I will share with you now how to activate it. The cosmic door opened in 2012 and in 2025 the gates will start closing on the third density and the cycle will end. And contrary to popular belief, it is not the fifth dimension humanity is crossing over into. Fifth is non-physical. We are moving into fourth density within the fourth dimension. And you may experience symptoms of physical, mental, emotional and spiritual sickness shifting from third density consciousness of fear, duality and separation into a fourth density consciousness of oneness and awe. Right on time. It is now time to deeply heal, love and forgive them all. You see, the more you put your focus on anything, the more emotionally attached you will become. It's like a magnet pulling you in and creating your reality. When you put your focus on something, it's like a chain reaction. Your thoughts and feelings become more intense and you become more passionate about it. Your actions and decisions start to be influenced by your emotional attachment to the situation. Now, the more you focus on inner peace and your own life path and stop watching the darkness, absorbing the painful drama and suffering, everything will change. And I know it's so easy to get caught up in the negativity as it's quite stimulating to the mind. Fear sells, right? And we can go down all sorts of conspiracy theories, which are very real and true as all things exist in the universe. And we can investigate them and become prolific teachers of the darkness in its history. But do you realize what you just did? That is what is granting them the capability and supremacy to govern and rule over your reality. So be alert and aware of the very state of being you are now and the energy you are currently putting your mind into. We can choose to tune into dark and scary things. Yes, it's a real alternate version of reality. But it's not your world if you change the channel. Keep watching and you'll feel angry, scared and depressed. And that's your sign. You're out of alignment with your core signature self. Just turn the other cheek when you're being bombarded and psychically attacked with images of pain and suffering. And look, it doesn't mean you don't have total compassion for those people who are experiencing those things. But what I am saying is if you are finding that it is taking you out from your natural self, one of love, one of joy, one of peace, if you're feeling anything but that, then you also have to have the compassion for yourself and stay strong so that you will be the healer and leader for those who need you when they are weak. But when you focus on your own self-empowerment, you'll start noticing that negative reality gets further and further away from you and starts actually fading away, literally and permanently, because that is also a very real reality as well. You'll start seeing people on all sides who are fighting for world peace. And are we not seeing that now? And so the darkness will fade from your reality. So just watch your reality start to shift and alter 
as we are all experiencing different realities simultaneously in an agreed shared room. So when you completely shut off any negativity, you will see the headlines in the news also start to change little by little towards positive development and you'll have no clue it was all coming from you. I kept hearing all these teachers talking about the shift. The shift. What is this shift? And what does that actually mean? Until Bashar, who is channeled by Daryl Anka, explained it that we are shifting through parallel realities constantly. We're doing it right now. And when I attract any new profound information, I have to apply it. I just get really excited. And when I did start applying it, I could not believe the changes. It still shocks me to the core. Every day. So different world events start appearing in your reality. Because remember, it's all existing right now. There are Earths that have destroyed themselves. And there are Earths that have world peace. What do you prefer? What do you choose? One of the gifts I have discovered within is I can actually feel the entire earth that I am vibrating on and everyone in it. Because when you start to love yourself and others, it will open up a deep connection that transcends the physical, allowing you to telepathically feel the innermost thoughts and feelings of others and even the collective hearts of the entire planet. And you can too. For example, when you're in meditation and you feel that deep inner peace, guess what? This is your very real reality now. Keep this state. This is your earth, your world, in which you are well pleased. One of peace, love, joy and harmony. So trust that. It's your planet now. There is no war on this current reality until you agree that there is. And just because you can see it, doesn't mean you're in it. There is a glass bridge between the universes and we are separating from the negative right now. So meaning, we can see them through this cosmic glass as we walk into fourth density within the layers of the fourth dimension. So they cannot see us, nor can they affect us. You have your backpack on in this incredible adventure of raising your frequency. We're saying goodbye to the old earth. You're sitting on that train. You're looking out the window. And it is your great escape. The train takes off and you're just waving goodbye to all the trauma, pain and suffering because you have chosen to go down a different path. Isn't this amazing? Isn't that incredible that we have that option? Because do you honestly believe that God would place you on a world full of wars oppression and political strife without providing his children an exit door to a new reality with your free will to choose what you will experience on earth. Do you imagine this is the extent of his love? We have that power to control physical reality and God has given us a way out of suffering. And this goes in alignment with every religion and spiritual teaching that what you think, say and do, you will experience. But understanding the physics and the reality of how the universe is functioning is something that is so mind blowing. To think that we are projecting this all out from our consciousness. All of us are projecting our consciousness into a dense biological body this very moment, allowing you to hear these very words. 
meaning everything you see is coming from your higher self, flowing through you for you to make sense of your world based on how you are feeling, thinking, and believing. And your eyes are simply like the film projector on the screen for you to experience the movie, for you to laugh, cry, and be on the edge of your seat, rolling through frame after frame after frame. And the only reason why I'm so confident in this is because when I've applied it, I've experienced it. I cannot run into any negative people, and if I ever do, I immediately see the gift and the perfection in the moment and the reflection coming back to me because there's always a teaching moment. And you might ask yourself, but I am a kind, good person and I help others. Should I not have any negative circumstances coming back to me? No, because Earth is still a master class and we are all about to graduate with flying colors. So we still have some final exams to go through every once in a while to keep you on your toes and alert. But it doesn't have to affect you. How you respond determines what you will experience. And I know many of you who are listening right now are very intuitive souls. So just use your intuitive abilities when you're going out through your day and watch and scan even the tiniest of changes in your reality, with people's personalities changing, landmarks changing, signs, brand names, insects and animals, and even the quality of air that you are breathing. Things will look crystal clear, the colors will be more vibrant, and you'll notice things will pop in and out of your reality. Like when you can't find the remote control to your TV and you find it elsewhere and can't figure out how the heck did it move there? And I know physical reality seems very solid and very real, but it's not. Once you just get over this idea that you are on more than one earth, that we live within an infinite web of realities and possibilities. And it's all an illusion within the matrix. Your whole life will change and then you can navigate where you land. And for example, when you hear any spiritual information that is profound and impacts you, you are attracting it to you. You chew it to yourself. So be proud this is your information and you have called it forth because you're in alignment with infinite possibilities and I am simply similar to your vibration. You've unlocked the door to my world as I have unlocked the door to yours. I am simply a guest in your world. So thanks for inviting me and having me in your home as we are all soul family, vibrating on similar frequencies just enough that we can perceive and interact with one another. I received this information from a parallel reality and I'm sharing it with you in your world, a slightly but altered, shared and agreed upon reality. Kind of like roommates. You have your own private rooms, but we still share the open spaces of the kitchen and the living room. You are creating it all, and that is the gift that was given to you from up above, from God. It's really coming through you from the infinite cosmos of knowledge and understanding that is unlimited through the infinite parallel earths that you are shifting through, that is happening so fast you don't even realize you're doing it. And if you really think about it, what would stop God from being able to create these parallel realities without us ever knowing until now that you're shifting through them? And what pray tell 
would be the benefit of that if you think about it. Because he wanted you to have a choice and free will. What choice? It's up to you. The universe awaits your decision. I love you guys. Till we meet again. This is Leo. Bye bye for now.